I take a slightly different view. I think uh, when I look at the World Summit Award and what we have been doing over the last uh, six, eight, nine years, especially with uh, young people, uh, the internet is not a technology for them. The internet is for them interactivity. And for that, that means that it's a completely new space in which to move, uh, both in terms of uh, interactivity on a global level, on a level where you can reach out to people irrespective of where they are, when they are, and uh, how you met them. And uh, the interactive nature is, I think, the real cultural turning point which the internet brought about. Uh, we are just, uh, not just in the teenage years of uh, the technology, but we are in the infant years of understanding what interactivity does. And if you just map it onto uh, the social media revolution, then you can see very well how this is just starting to bubble and just starting to develop. I take it what um, uh, some of the people said before, that uh, the internet, we are la putting layers, I think Eric, you said this, we are putting layers of new technology onto the internet. You know? I was just in Silicon Valley and met with some young entrepreneurs. They are developing their applications and their contents only for Facebook. For them, internet has become synonymous with what they see as the interactive space. And what uh, we have done with chapters, uh, in, uh, ISOC chapters in Bahrain or in Belgium and in uh, Mexico, is exactly bringing that out to show actually and to demonstrate what is actually deep content. But for young people, it means more than that. It means in terms of uh, what we have found with the World Summit Youth Award, where we're getting young people to use the internet, mobile and fixed line, to uh, get action on uh, the Millennium Development Goals, we found that one of the most characteristic aspects is that the internet for them means a space of adventure, but also a space for, which is a room for free action. So it's not just a room to move, not just a uh, room actually to uh, engage and to entertain, but it is something where they want to act. And I think that this is something which is really interesting because it shows that the technology has an enabling factor beyond what we, the people who have built the infrastructure, have envisioned. And we go into this uh, space of where young people use it for action. And um, we did last year with the World Summit Youth Award a number of projects, uh, 18 projects. Four of the 18 winning projects came from Egypt. Two of those projects were power to women, and they show actually how young women in Egypt use, for instance, the Ushadili technology to integrate into the websites and to make something which was developed in Kenya, actually, for post-election violence to a, a real case for preventing violence against women in Cairo and in Alexandria. And I think this is just showing you know, the power, what the internet means to them. It means to them a way of defending themselves, but also a way of gaining, actually, a new kind of uh, activity and also entitlement uh, to action culturally, politically, as well as economically.